Early in the morning, I drag myself to work, feeling tired. I'm at the MRT train platform. My job is making me exhausted. Everyone I work with thinks I'm stupid. Headaches have bothered me for the last three weeks, almost every day. They come at different times and stay for a long time. Then, I see a shadowy figure nearby. What's that? What did I just see? Suddenly, the figure disappears. Maybe. I just imagined it. When I get to my office, I feel confused and can't concentrate. I can't focus at work with all the demands and distractions. Then, my boss shows up, slams papers on my desk, and puts a lot of pressure on me. This place is like a battlefield where people fight every day. Stop blaming me. After my boss leaves, I mumble quietly. Screw you. Screw you. Oh no, not again. Later that day, my boss comes back, checks my work, and criticizes it a lot. I can't take this anymore. When she leaves, my head feels like it's going to explode. There's a battle in my head. It's like walking on a field of bombs. I, I need a break. I can't handle it, so I get up and leave the office without telling anyone. Back home, I try to rest, hoping my headache will go away. But it gets worse. The pain is getting worse. It's like something is causing trouble in my brain. Make it stop. Now! Getting desperate, I smash my head. <coughs> After a dead silence, a shadowy figure comes at me, like another version of myself. This dark me looks at my body lying on the couch. Poor me. Without waiting, the dark version takes over my daily routines. It wears my clothes and goes out to do my tasks, becoming me. People on the street are surprised to see the dark me. But I don't care, I used to worry about what others think, but not now. The dark me goes to my office and walks straight into my boss's room. Bitch. When it sees my boss, it hits her on the head without hesitation. <laughs> she dies right away. The dark me watches silently. Suddenly, something comes out of my boss's cracked head. It's the dark version of my boss. She looks at me and places both hands on my shoulders, giving me a suggestive look and whispers, Screw you too. Then, we engaged in actions that I won't describe. We held each other's hands and left our office. A transformation occurred among my colleagues. They too turned into their darker selves, tirelessly toiling away within the office. Have you ever found yourself in the clutches of a toxic environment where every day feels like a struggle just to make it to work? It's in those moments of weariness that a peculiar phenomenon might transpire. Listen closely to your inner voice, your darker self, for there might come a day when it gains the upper hand. As the story unfolds, remember that our battles aren't always with external forces, sometimes, the most formidable struggles lie within.